And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the New York Yankees taking on the Minnesota Twins. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go. And today's starter, Chris Paddock. Well, that 12 to 6 curveball explodes out of the hand. And because he's able to throw the high fastball at the top of the strike zone for a strike, hitters commit to that pitch. But before they know it, they're swinging over the top of that curveball. All right, ready to get underway. Now, Anthony Volpe. The pitch. Just no, off the out. outside edge. And we're underway. First pitch, 7 o'clock. Right through there for a strike. Bounce to the left side. Oh, a great stop. The throw. And very nicely done for the out. Cadillac reflexes on that one. Makes the dive. Has to get up. Clean exchange to throw a strike across the diamond. And what a tremendous play. And now it's Juan Soto. First pitch doesn't find the zone. like that they're out front it's one nothing you almost feel bad for the baseball when Juan Soto hits it his swing is so powerful with a low 90s fastball you have to live on the edges and hit your spots if you don't you'll get hit hard really good swing there patient waited for it, it was like BP all over again judge at the plate he has as they like to say let me guess boog light tower power Ooh. that's right that close the one. corner part of the order coming through now and with one home run already in this inning they're definitely looking to do some more damage this one in the air jeffers under it he's there he's got it and there's two away. And time now to check out the New York Yankees lineup. We could be in for a power showcase today with the wind blowing out a lot of lift and separate, Chris. Well, we know guys are in this era definitely trying to hit the ball in the air regardless of the conditions. But I think even a little more so there's margin for error if you can get the ball up in the air. So, you know, you'll see at times, I'm sure, with two strikes, what looks like a half swing that can get out of the ballpark with a guy who's got decent pop. There's the strike at the knees. Two out spaces empty. The pitch. Scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now a one nothing ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back in Minnesota, starting on the mound in this one, Carlos Rodon. 
four pitch guy he's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance so we'll see how he decides to utilize uh, those weapons through this Yankees. start here and now whether or not Bruce. he's able to mix Number them all in six, early yeah. or if he wants to hold yeah. something back a little bit later maybe second third Leading time through the order way. and give them something the they haven't base. seen it's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket Ooh, as a hitter yeah. you really have to stay on your toes on the ground right side Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. Just got him on that one. Now the lineup for the Twins as constructed by Rocco Baldelli. Already trailing by a run in this one. They'll be looking to get on the scoreboard early on as well. Well, it's just the one run, so not too big a hill to climb. But, yeah, if they can answer back in this inning or at least in the next couple, that'll maybe settle everyone into this ball game, and that includes their own starter on the mound. Here's Royce Lewis. And first offering is fouled off. One out, base is empty. Nope, and that's, that's off in. the inside edge. And it's one and one. In the air, left side. Verdugo gets under it. Brings it in. And there's two down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front that shoulder good. coming open That's instead of staying good. closed. Oh, yeah. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Byron Buxton in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a cold strike. 2 now as he swings through it. Cold night tonight, no Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed oh. creeping into my mind right now. One ball, two strike. For Don Ready, here comes. Foul ball still, one and two count. a piece there we'll do it again the line in the pitch and another two, two. ball three. swings through it and that's a strikeout twins are set down one two three they're down one nothing A line to kick the pitch. That yeah. one finds the zone. Strike one. 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 You also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. Off the mark there. Gonna count one and two. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Got it. And that one well. Definitely a borderline pitch right there. And he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Here is Glaber Torres. Hard hit, left side. Whips it across. And a couple of quick outs. Batting seven. The left field, number 24. Alex Verdugo. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Alex Verdugo. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. That's the ball down.
So a foul ball makes it one and two. And downstairs. Oh. Good slider down Good and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Right hander kicks deals. Cracks his bat and pops him up. Makes a nice running catch. And that is that. Yanks held in check, but they still lead it 1 0. Bottom half of inning number two. And now for the Twins, the right Max field. Kepler. Max Kepler. Rodon back to work. To third. To first. And a quick out number one. Matty, that's your shot. Now Correa up to hit. One of the things with Correa, the impact he makes, not just on offense, but defense as well. A guy who's won a platinum glove as the best defender in the American League. Probably my favorite note, though, on Carlos Correa. He likes to, before games, go to a regular old batting cage and take BP with his dad. That one That's missed. Freddie Ferguson doing the umpiring duties behind the plate in this one. Yeah, Freddie's a well-respected umpire, boo. Maybe a little bit more of a pitcher's umpire. He does like to pitch down just below the knees or right about there, but most hitters are pretty good at covering that spot these days. And that one is lifted in the air. Verdugo gets under it. And he makes the catch. Two up, two down. Yeah, I mean, he's a guy that has a reputation for that being for delicious. The yes, break and, break. you know, whatever. Delicious. <laughs> Bounce to third. LeMayhew is there gathers and throws to first gets him easily ends the inning nothing doing here for the twins they trail here one nothing and welcome back to the ballpark all set for the start of the inning and here's the rookie catcher Austin Wells the pitch Wells, 24 years old, a former first-round pick in 2020. Now the 01. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Makes the catch for the out. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. And now it's DJ LeMayhew digging in. Came into the game on defense. So his first trip to the plate here. That one catches the zone. That's strike one. That's a strike. 0-2 oh, Cal, both pitches oh, on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking, I don't want to get beat here. This is a good time for something off-speed. <laughs> Swings and misses, struck him out. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Could get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Volpe stands in now and watches strike one. This ball's chopped to the ground. Over to first. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. So the Yanks go in order, but they lead it one to nothing. Back 
Kentucky target field. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now here is Matt Wallenberg. And he deals. Ball one, no strikes. Well. And a foul ball. Swing and a miss. One and two to count. And two another and two. ball. Left hand batter waits. Backed Full off count. the plate that time. Straightened him up a little bit. Has a beat on it. Pulls it in for the out. Well, oh, that's a frustrating into the at bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics. And instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it off. Unfortunate for him. Brian Jeffers oh. in now. Takes ball one off the plate. Home team down a run here in the last half of the third. That Two misses the zone. Two and oh. Back to back breaking pitches away. You get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Yeah. The 2 0 is in for a strike. Right. Swing and a miss as he was late. Two, two. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. The lefty fires. Still two and two after the foul ball. One down, base is empty. Pulled down the left on this one hammer, but it's foul. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. And there's ball a ball. Count. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. And the pitch. And that's ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the wall off. Very gritty. Here's Alex Kirilov. in a strike to the left-handed hitter. There was a high-velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. And now the lefty. One ball, one strike. Jeffers leads off first with one away. Next offering is in for a strike. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Two away down. Really nice job working both sides of the plate for that strikeout. Started the ball inside, then away, back inside again, and that one set him up for that last pitch on the outside part of the plate that he just swung right through. Pretty smooth sequence right there. So the batting order turns over. Here's the second baseman, Edouard Julien. 0 for 1 so far. Keep out. Through there for a 
strike. And at bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. 0-2 now. Gets a piece and stays alive. Not one, close two. with that one. Now one and two. Misses. It's two and two. Stays alive. Two outs. That one Down missed. Goal. Three two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Royce Lewis up next. And that's too high ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. When you go now that deep into the bat, the hitter usually comes out on top. And next for Minnesota, Royce Lewis. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. On the ground. Oh, great grab on the dime. Over to first. Nicely done for the out. Proof right there of why he's a gold glover. Flash that leather around and make everybody excited. Nice job in the inning. Back in Minnesota, John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Juan Soto. in there 0-1 one, one. Oh, he's looking great so far it helps when over 80 percent of your first pitches are strikes he might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up nope ball. next offering is down low one and one right into the plate and there's a foul ball the wide the kick and the one two that's the ball Good purpose pitch right ball, there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. Puts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Jeffrey yeah. sends it to first. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris, as we look back at the pitch sequence, he hadn't seen that curveball yeah. at all. How tough is it to adjust to something like that with a bunch of break when you haven't had a look at it yet? Yeah, I mean, you're dialed up for something firm. You never want to take a called third strike as a fastball, so you're going to be a little anxious before you recognize the pitch. And right there, clearly didn't see what was coming. It's Aaron Judge now. And Judge spoils that one. That's, That's downstairs and outside. Right Swings two. through that one for strike two. One and two. Count. Base is empty one away. Top half of inning number four. That one hit to right. Makes the grab and there's two gone. Up up. 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 And yeah, now it's John Carlos Stanton. Struck out looking yeah, yeah. at his first at bat. Yeah. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. He 
sends it out of here. And they boost their lead. It's 2-0. So frustrating for any pitcher. Finished outside the zone, and he still managed to get punished with the home run. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ball. You want to follow that type of approach. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. There's a strike. 0 oh and 1. extra bases now he'll turn for second the throw in safe at second that's a good sound coming off the bat man and as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel that's a pure stroke here comes Glaber Torres grounded out his first time For strike one. No ball. One strike. Runner at second. Two down. Hammers that one. Deep left field. And forget it. A two-run homer. It's their second home run of the inning, and they add a pair. It's 4-0. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. For a pitcher, the odds are in your favor if you keep that breaking ball down. That time, he got punished for it. Hitter just did a really good job of staying within himself and getting the ball to the baseball. So two away with nobody on. Now the left fielder, Alex Verdugo. And yeah. there's the strike. Two down, nobody on. Ball no. one low. Oh. One, one. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. And Verdugo is set down. And that is that. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. And we're back. Leading Ready to go. Four bottom four. Here's Byron Buxton. Byron. Buxton. Rodon back to work. When you examine ball, no Buxton's strike. career trajectory, the thing that really jumps out, the speed and the defense early on. Who knows the chase count. that time. Next one misses. And that's ball three. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff wall. And so the that's lefty allows the leadoff free pass. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough bats? Oh, that's a good question. The uh, right field. I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Boom. Over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. You're doing that, you could have a nope. really good day Ball. out there on the mound. One and one. Rodon fires. Right yeah. through there for a strike. He's been very consistent with his command out there on the mound, consistently throwing at the knees. Pretty impressive when a guy can repeat his delivery like this. 
at the belt and fires. Swing and a ground ball out to short. And that's a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Just a simple ground ball the other way. Had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ball game. And first offering is fouled off. Then that drops in for a strike. First and second, no outs. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And here it comes. Foul ball still 0 and 2. And the pitch. Foul ball, it stays nothing and two. Just oh. off the outside part of the plate. Kicks and deals. Pitch two misses, and, and the count's even at two. Grounder might be two. Torres over to second. Now to Rizzo at first, and they get the double play. Sometimes double plays get turned so quickly no, that you don't really the get to appreciate all of the finer no, no. details and how these guys no, execute. No, no. Right there, really nice footwork, and a good feed to second was the key to pulling it off. Santana well, at high. the plate and takes high there. Buxton at third with two away. In the air out to center. Judge is there. And makes the play and that's out number three. One hit, one left. We're headed to the fifth. The Yankees four and the Twins nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now at the plate, Austin Wells. Austin Wells. Yeah, the right hander back to work. And a good uh -huh. eye there. Inside that missed, that's just missed. Two up. Foul ball there. Pitch is in there. And now two and two. Hand hitter waits. In the air, center field. Buxton moves under it. Makes the grab one away. Now got it. Third base. DJ. Here's DJ LeMay here. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. Strike. Next no, offering ball. upstairs. One down, base is empty. Swing right. and a miss. One and two is the count. Kicks and fires. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Left field. 
Pretty well struck. Pulls it in on the warning try. And stepping in for the Yankees, Anthony Volpe. Fastball in for a strike, and it's 0-1. Good eye no, that right there. The ball. Two outs. That yeah. catches the top part of the zone. It's a ball and two strikes. The shortstop two, two. takes the ball. There's a ball. Juan Soto on deck for the Yankees. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. One, two, three, go the Yankees. But they're in front, four nothing. Back at target field. Now here is Matt Walmer. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. And that one fouled off. Well, these twins need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. You really can't pin it on one player because we've oh. seen soft contact up and down this lineup. It's time to make some adjustments because this approach is just off. Swing and a miss. And the count. One ball, one two. Two. The cause for these struggles is a little different for each guy. For some, it's timing, and for others, it's mechanics. Hey, Whatever it is, they need to start hitting the ball harder. Got him. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Now Ryan Jeffers at the play. He reached out oh, a yeah. walk his first time. The Twins down by four. Last half of inning number five. Ripped on the ground a second. Torres oh. fires over to first. All that for the fifth inning. Moving along two quick outs. Now yeah, he's doing a nice the, job the, 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 keeping the ball out oh, of well, the well. air. Let's the defense work Pure behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. So up next for Minnesota, Alex Kirilov. Struck out swinging his first time. That one fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Line drive, base hit. Now that yeah, only two hits allowed so far tonight, oh. so I don't think that one will disrupt the yeah, yeah. all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game commanding his pitches all night long so the lineup flips over Edouard Julien the next twin up to hit he's over one that's in there Kirilov off of first with two away. Next no, offering upstairs. Is. Rodon sets and deals. Two and one. And another ball. That misses. Three and, one. and a count is three and one. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. Three one count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. The pitch. That one rips. Way back there. He'll touch them all. And they close the gap. It's 
4-2. He just sent this stadium into a frenzy. They're going nuts. Jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. Two outs, nobody on. Here's the third baseman, Royce Lewis. Misses ball. outside, and that is ball one. The line of the pitch. Swing and a miss. And it's one and one. one ball, Meanwhile, one activity in the bullpen. Ian Hamilton getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. Gonzalez, a left-hander, also throwing. The wind of the pitch. On the ground to third. Loves it on the dive from his knees. The throw. And they get the out. Well, that's cat-like reflexes over there at the hot corner. Nice job of making that play and ending the inning. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Jay Jackson. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Juan Soto now. He's already homered in this game. Juan Soto. And a pitch. Soto measures six feet two inches, 25 years old, and he's a former home run derby champ. Here's your one. That's the ball. Some movement in the Twins' bullpen. Caleb Thielbar, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Okert also getting ready. Righty delivers. There's a swing and a drive. And it is gone! Into the second deck it goes. His second home run of the game, it's 5-2. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. Chris, that ball came out hot. So let's see what StatCast has to say. Yeah, it really did, Boog. 111 miles per hour off the bat, and a really nice launch angle as well. Just a beautiful swing from start to finish. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. That's First the pitch misses. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. And it's even up. Mark. One and one. This one smoked on its way out of here. A gigantic blast. And they tack one on the board. It's 6-2. That's their fifth homer of the game. Man, they're all getting into the action. It's starting to feel like a home run derby up here. Back-to-back -back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up the ballpark. John Carlos Stanton to the plate now. He's already homered here in this one. Right, right through there for a strike. That one is absolutely belted. Buxton ranges back. 
That's long gone. Another homer. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And they add a run. It's 7-2. That's a swing that'll boost the win probability for sure. Back to back to back home runs, and these guys look so dominant right now. The pitcher might want to check and see if he's tipping his pitches or not, but I tell you what. This on the mound now for the Twins, Cody Thunderbird. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pin with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. Anthony Rizzo stepping in now for the Yankees. One for two. Just oh. missed. You know, these Yankees, simply wow. put, are producing a lot of quality swings. It's been a real team effort. Already seven extra base hits. So that goes to show they're getting contributions from top to bottom. Nobody's doing that by themselves. Hammered down the right side, but foul. And he deals. Next pitch in for a strike. And a count one and two. Well, a good breaking ball like that can buckle the hitter. And by the time you realize it's going to be in the strike zone, it's too late to pull the trigger. Left hand batter waits. Ball. Next offering misses down and away. Two and two. Just Full missed. Count. Really good take, especially with two strikes. 3-2. Crush to right. This one's got a chance. Out of here. Home run. A massive home run. And they add on. It's 8-2. Those are the at-bats that leave pitchers exhausted. He had to throw a lot of pitches and still gave up the long ball. That's a bad combo. Wow, four consecutive home runs. These guys are taking batting practice in the game. Just unbelievable at bats. And I tell you what, that hitting coach over there in the dugout, he's feeling pretty proud of himself right now. Glaber Torres up to the plate. And that's that down and that away. Ball. One ball, no strikes. pitch and oh. another ball <laughs> nobody on nobody out and we're the top half of the sixth inside oh. just missed turns and heads for second the throw in in there oh, just right. beat the tag it's a double well, when you fall behind in the count you've got to come into the zone and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there Verdugo. And a curve is down and in. 1 0. No outs. Runner on second. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Man at second. 
Fouls it off. Still one and two. And now the lefty. That misses no, that the miss, zone. The ball. Two balls, two strikes. Well, this is a guy two that balls, can be strikes. frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Base hit, center field. Around third. The throw in. Okay. This is unbelievable. That's now six consecutive hits by this lineup. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Austin Wells stepping in now for the Yankees. There's a strike. Oh, one. That's, oh, off that's in. the inside edge. And the count is one and one. And that's another ball. ball. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. Verdugo gets his lead at first with nobody out. Trying to get no, him to chase down. on the change oh. up that time. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. And that ball is four. ball Take four, and the Yankees are in business. You know, Boog, it's been said these guys are savages in the box. The third you can see it right there with such DJ. tight plate discipline. LeMay. Now it's LeMayhew up to hit. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Gets under it. Walner pulls that one down. The bat into the left. Short throw. Anthony. So up next, Volpe. Anthony Volpe. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. And the ball. first pitch misses for ball one. one oh. Little Down. bit low. Ball. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Two on, one out. Got the corner for a strike. Now two and one. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2-0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. At the belt and fires. In the air, out towards right center. Touches down, that's a hit. Around third, he'll score easily. And it's now 10-2. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Right Great right. swing, nice yeah. balance, and weight transfer. Yeah. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part yeah. of the field. Steven yeah. Oker on the pitch out of the pen here. Well, they need someone to Steve stop Bear. the bleed and keep the score right oh, where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. Here's Juan Soto, and the way he's going in this one, we've been waiting for his spot to come around again. All right, listen, everyone, stop what you're doing right now. This guy's got two home runs already. Now he's going for number three. That's in there. That's strike one. Well, in this situation with runners on, you've got to get ahead in the count that you can dictate the rest of the at-bat. Nice job right there. And that is cut on and miss. And the count is 0-2. Don't play situation here. He's been working up in the zone. Typically, you look for guys to get that ground ball, see if he adjusts on this next pick. Lefty out of the stretch. Runners at first and third. Good job to fight that one off.
Owen Chu now. That's inside. inside. Ball. First and third, one down. Having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third foul ball in a row. Got it. Didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. One for three. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Step off throw to first. Volpe hey. back easily. Corners are occupied with two down. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. No ball. Another Good 0 2 track. count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. But six runs here in the inning have taken a close game and broken it wide open. Heart of the order, 3-4-5 coming up. It's the Yankees 10 and the Twins 2. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Luke Weaver. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. And now Byron Buxton. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. And that one is inside ball one. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some pitchers. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. And that one hammered. That's back there. That was blasted to the moon. It's 10-3. They put a good swing on it, but the box score might want to credit the win for that home run. Still got to try to find a way to keep that hitter off balance. Well, he wasn't able to do it there. The hitter did a nice job of turning that pitch around, not missing it in a hitter's count. Now batting Max Kepler. That's yeah. in for a strike. Swing at a ball popped up. Wells balls it in, and there's one away. Oh, that's what he's the looking for. The fastball above the zone. Sure, stop, stop. Swing and miss or weak contact. Correa. Here's Carlos Correa. Correa, the former first overall pick from Puerto Rico back in 2012 and he blossomed into the American League Rookie of the Year in 2015 right through there for a strike if you're not ready for that pitch you're just going to swing and miss or pop it up waste the at bat if you're going to let it go you better be ready to swing it one down base is empty he doesn't seem to like the pitch up hasn't offered on either one of those pitches 0-2 count now I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there Next Ball. offering is downstairs. Hit. 
Strikes and misses. It's a strikeout. Man, there was no deviating from the fastball right up there. He just kept over. coming after him with it. Here it is. Hit it if you can. And he just couldn't find a way to put it in play. Two down, base is empty, but one run across here in the bottom of the sixth. And a foul ball. On the ground, right side. Collected by Torres. Throws the first. Play made, that ends the inning. But a solo home run will at least get this closer to respectability. And it is now 10-3. Back after this on the show. Top of inning number seven. Now here's the Yankees cleanup hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. Oker back to work. Just oh. missed. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. And boy, umpire didn't give him the call. I bet you if he throws it again, hitter no, knows he's going to have to swing it. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. That one That's misses. And now three and one. Late right, on two. that fastball. Down is full. appearance there able to take the walk that's a great at bat he saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk you know I think he's okay with that outcome it wasn't an intentional walk but he wasn't exactly trying to attack his own either Rizzo no the next to hit takes outside Next offering is in for a strike. Awkward swing there from the big left-handed hitter. Off balance as well. The Yanks up big in this one here at the top half of inning number seven. That that's one just misses. Down. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They got him working hard out there. Lifted in the air, right center field. Sizing this one up. Puts it away for the out. Now back. Yeah, yeah. The second base. Glaber, Glaber. Torres. Torres. Man at first. Glaber Torres. Stepping in now for the Yankees. Hit on the ground to the right side. And it finds its way through for a hit. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Stepping That's in, Alex Verdugo. One ball, no strikes. And it's fouled away. And 
That's another the ball. ball. Outside. One out. Runners at first and second. Next pitch is outside. Breaks and misses. It's a strikeout. Up next. So first and second with two outs. And up next for New York, Austin Wells. And that's in for a strike. Stan at second. Torres at first. Two out of the inning. He'll two. And they'll do it again. And a pitch. Slider misses outside. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Couple of strikeouts with runners on. Sometimes you gotta really bear down, and he did just that. Nice job of getting out of the jam and out of the inning. Bottom of the inning, and now for the Twins, Matt Walmer. And the pitch. That yeah. one's in there. That's strike one. Movement in the bullpen. Ian Hamilton appears to be getting loose. And now the 01. Just no, off ball. the inside edge. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Right-hander kicks, deals. Fought off foul. Here comes a pitch. That two one not two. close. Two balls, two strikes. Wouldn't chase that out. time. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. And the right-hander deals. Nice. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way, so credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly, he had to move. Here's the catcher, Ryan Jeffers. Jeffers. And first offering is fouled off. And the righty deals. That's the ball. Light drive. Base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. Digging in, Alex Kirilov. Now fly ball to right center. Judge getting an angle on it. Judge snags it on the run. The batter, the, batter. the, second, the second baseman, baseman. Edward. Edward. Back to the leadoff spot in the Twins lineup. Edouard Julien, the next twin up to hit. Outside corner, there's a strike. To the right side, 
He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. This one pretty well decided at this point. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Yankees 10 and the Twins 3. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eight. Justin Topa. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high and it just breaks a ton. DJ LeMayhew to start it off. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a strikeout. LeMayhew. And a pitch. And That's ball inside. one to LeMayhew. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid ball. of contact in this situation. 2 0. 2 0 to Cal. Here it comes. Swing, and that ball smashed out of line. Walner makes the catch, and there's one gone. The batter. And the batter down. Anthony Volpe. Anthony Volpe. And first offering is fouled off. Base is empty one away, and we're in the top of the eighth. That Woo! one finds the corner, and it's 0-2. The shortstop takes a ball. One ball, two strikes. Foul tip into the mix, struck him out. Two outs, bases oh, oh, empty. Juan Soto getting ready to hit. Juan Soto. Strike one. Your ball is one strike. Next pitch is outside. to the plate popped up Santana drifts towards it and that is that Yanks held in check but they still lead by seven it's 10-3 And we're back. Leading Bottom of the eighth. The down the number two hitter, the Royce Lewis. Lewis. The pitch. And that nope. one just ball. misses. A ball and no strikes. Got Go it ahead. started a little too early. Strike one. One and one. Yeah. Swings through that. One and two, the count. Hey. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's one down. The bat. Byron the Buxton, the next twin up to hit. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. And there's a strike. When you have a real athletic player and who's able to do the baseball mechanical things really well, look out because the sky's the limit on that potential. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box, got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. Max Kepler at the plate. Yeah. And a strike on the outside edge. Buxton, the runner at first with one gone to the inning. Ground ball right side could be two. 
The throw to first. Two away. The batter number four. Shortstop. Carlos. Well, now here's Carlos Correa with a chance to hit. 0 for 3. Just about ready to go. And pitching in this game, Chris Paddock. Very solid starters. Able to repeat his mechanics. 1-0. Not even close there. And we are underway. Kicks and deals. That yeah. one finds the zone. And the count even at one. Foul ball, he stays alive. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, I want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it ball. out of the ballpark, you're a little late, opposite field knock. count off as early as possible so gave the guys behind him an opportunity to see what's working for this pitcher or not but I tell you what it's a nice job right there Juan Soto stands in here leaves that one off the inside Paddock he isn't really known as the starting pitcher that's going to get you deep into the start it's not that he's not capable he just hasn't proven that he can do it yet nope oh. just missed He's got such great stuff. You just don't know from start to start whether it's a potential no-hitter or it's a guy that's only going to give you three or four innings. Next oh. pitch misses, and now 3-0. and oh. But for the most part, with that kind of stuff, you expect him to get to the middle of the ball game. And a four-pitch oh. walk. Four pitches. That's an easy walk, man. He could have walked me right there. The last one wasn't even close. Here comes Aaron Judge. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And a curve drops in for a strike. And what about analytics? Because one of the ways it seems like they've contributed to the trend is it's not just about are you capable of getting deep, that now focusing on the numbers, maybe the matchup is better with a different guy as the game goes on. Right through there for a strike. Only a oh, handful of pitchers correct. can go through an order three times, maybe even four times. And the analytics have contributed to that trend. But I think there are some players given an opportunity may be able to show that they can be a third or fourth time through the order type of pitcher. And here it comes. Just nope, misses the mark outside, outside the zone. This guy, he knows the strike zone extremely well. And you know what? Good hitters are not going to compromise. He'll take that punch out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. Giancarlo Stanton at the plate. Line drive, base hit. Soto around second, heads for third. And now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one. Ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in the mechanics. So two down, and here is Anthony Rizzo. First no, pitch, and he that's just ball. misses. Righty delivers. That one missed. Uh -oh. Two and oh. Swung on, belted. 
Way back there. Off the batter's eye. And gone. The Yankees score first. It's 3-0. In a 2 0 count, a hitter is on high alert. This is what you live for to be in the driver's seat here. He got a pitch that he could handle, and he hit that pitch really hard. Nice home run. Labor Torres up to hit. Left field. And Glaber Torres retired. And that'll do it. But the biggest swing of the inning comes right here, a three-run homer. It's now 3-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back in Minnesota. Our starting pitcher in this one, Carlos Rodon. What's the scouting report on him? power pitcher he's going to speed you up with the fastball velocity and out of his hand will explode the breaking ball very difficult for hitters to keep that front side closed and hit the ball the other way because they know if they're not ready to pull the trigger the fastball will be gone we go to the bottom of the first now it's the second baseman Edouard Julien and he drops it down the third baseline. And foul. he grabs it in foul ground. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. The 0-2. Swags and misses. Struck him out. Oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass. It's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders. Have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. In for a strike. And now it's even one and one. Cold night like tonight. Last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front. So off-speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. And now we take a peek at the Twins lineup. And the key to victory for them here, get their starters some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away. Jump out to a lead early, and a few runs is going to feel like 30. Byron Buxton in the box now. No balls and a strike. Two outs. Two. This guy's not wasting any oh, pitches. Two. Hitters got to get in the swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Ah, he locked him up, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Twins retired in short order. They trail it here, three nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Second inning set to go. Here's Alex Verdugo. Paddock back to work. This one rip, but foul to the right. And he'll one. No, that's low. Ball. Our umpire for this one, Freddie Ferguson. A consistent umpire by all accounts. Yeah, I think the book on him is that he's not necessarily by the book with his strike zone. But once you figure out where he's calling strikes, you can pretty much count on him to stay with that throughout the game. And there's a foul ball. Line drive. That's a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Batting it. And here is Austin, Austin Wells. Well. That's that off missed. the mark, the ball. and it's one to know. Oh. 
The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. Little chopper rolls foul. Kicks and fires. Nope. Ball. Two balls, one strike. Slapped foul. Left hand hitter waits. <laughs> Up to the plate steps DJ LeMayhew, taking his first at bat of the game after entering on defense. Ball one, no strikes. One ball, no strikes. pitch Ball. Verdugo stands at first with one out That's swing one. and a miss as he was out Two front one. that time swing and a foul straight back Spoils that one and it remains two and two. And a pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. Man at first, one away. Snakes through that one, it's a strikeout. Interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back to back strikeouts. So. They haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Volpe right. in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. He's a master at hitting fastballs. You need to be careful with location if you're going to throw him. The pitch. And right. strike two. More and more guys are okay. looking to slug regardless of the count. And this situation will keep a close eye on his approach. The pitch. Ball. One, two. Hey. Swings through it for the K. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. One left for the Yankees, but they lead it three nothing. Bottom of the second. Max Kepler the at the plate. Right the right, the right field. field. Max Kepler. Kepler. As the lefty gets to work. Had a good Go eye there. there. Rodon, multi-time all-star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a curve, and he works in a changeup. Rodon ready. Here comes foul ball there. That one two way one. outside, and a count two and one. And Three another one. ball. Last couple of pitches, breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. The 3 1. He swings and fouls one off. And a 3 2. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Yeah, that could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and lead leadoff batters on the base. We'll way. see if the next guy That's waits until right. there's a called strike oh. before he takes the bat off the short. Oh, and here comes Carlos Correa. That one 
one's in there. And that's strike one. There was a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. Big stack center field. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Just so that sound happened. in his mechanics. Hits That's against a firm good. front side. And the hands just continue yeah. to carry yeah. through the middle of the field. And now it's the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. That one fouled off. Yankees up by three. Bottom half of inning number two. Next pitch is downstairs. Foul off down the right side. The pitch. Double play ball to second. Torres. Good feed. That's one. On the Rizzo at first, and they get the double play. I think four, six, three double plays like that are way really tougher than these guys make it look sometimes because no matter how you do it, the feed from the second baseman is a tough one. That's where footwork really comes into play, but right there, very well done. Here's the left fielder, Matt Walmer. And a foul ball. And he deals. Yeah, a foul ball. And now one, two. one and two. Runner at third, two away. Pitch misses. And the count is even, two and two. It's a good take. It misses. It's a strikeout. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. We head on now to the top of the third. Yankees three, and the Twins nothing. Back at target field. Now it's the right fielder, Juan Soto. Juan Soto. The wind of the pitch. Top yeah. of the zone, and it's called a strike. Swings and misses at the breaking ball in the dirt. On to first. Got him. Got him. One away on the strikeout. Well, that's pretty much the dream two-strike curveball. If you're the pitcher, the hard eight. downward break Area. at the very end that just Shut dips up. below the swing path. And they say pitchers want to try to bounce that pitch right on top of the plate. So that was exactly what he was looking for on the mound. Judge oh, in the box for the second time. One ball, no strikes. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake hey. in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. Comes strike up empty. Two. That's strike two. Clearly is sitting on a one fastball ball, right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle two. with two strikes. One out, base is empty. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again.
So right now he's in cruise control, yeah, autopilot, yeah. just yeah. dominating these hitters. It doesn't look like it's a fun at bat. Yeah, yeah. And all of a sudden, you become in awe of this guy on the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's five straight strikeouts. Got to put a ball in play. Stanton <laughs> batting for the second time, and that's strike one. to the pitch bounce to Santana the flip to the pitcher covering and they take care of Stan for the out third out so the Yanks go in order but they lead it three nothing and we're back Leading and here's the catcher Ryan Jeffers the catcher Line in the pitch. And yeah, that's a little bit high. One and oh. That clips the inside corner for a strike. One one. Next pitch is outside. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. He'll circle the bases. It's 3-1. First pitch ball. misses for ball one. Well, you just got to delete one it. Out. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. The lefty fires. Swing and a foul straight back. Pretty good pitch to take a pass at. And a 1-0 count. Just not able to square it up. Out towards right center field. Flashes the leather on the running catch. One down. Now that the second base. So digging in, Edouard Julien struck out swinging his first time. That one a little bit high, and yeah, that's ball one. And that outside, misses off ball. the outside edge. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. One out, base is empty, and a run in here in the last half of the third. Ball, Next pitch is outside. <laughs> and there's the automatic. Ah. Clearly taking all the way there in that 3 0 count. It was a cookie right down the middle. for the center field base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come out of the zone, and then the guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Here's Royce Lewis. He's over one. Right through there for a strike. off first with one away. That's oh, a little that's bit low. low. That's the ball. Axe and misses. It's a strikeout. 
He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes the to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Here's Byron Buxton. Went down on strikes his first time through. There's a strike. 0 oh and 1. And a swing and a miss. 0 oh and 2. And it's three and two. Max Kepler next to bat for Minnesota. Makes the sliding stop. Throw to first. It's there, and that's a great play. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. It's now a 3-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. in Minnesota. John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Anthony Rizzo. As he turns on the rubber and with that good live arm delivers. No, that's high. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Rizzo, a multi-gold glove award winner, 34-year-old vet, and he was a sixth-round draft pick back in 2007. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That's back there. Out of here. Another homer. His second home run of the game, and they add a run. It's 4-1. It's like he's playing wiffle ball up there, and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run, to the slight opposite field, into the gap. Man, making it look easy, that's for sure. Here's Glaber Torres. Fought off foul. And the pitch. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. This looks like extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And that's a double. Well, oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Oh, Just okay. a solid swing right there. Yeah. Caught it out front and flipped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. It's going to be Alex Verdugo. One for one with a single so far. First That's pitch doesn't find the zone. Mm. 
And that one is inside. Minnesota's bullpen with some action. Cody Funderburg warming up for manager Rocco Baldelli. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That one opts against the fence. The run comes in from second. It's 5-1. And he's got a double. Wasting no time. He's now two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. And now the catcher comes up to him. Austin Wells. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. That one finds the zone. It's 0 1. Runner at second, nobody out. That's in there. That's strike two. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches now in an 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle, hope he gets a mistake. Pitch misses That's up. there. That's the One and two to count. Here's D.J. LeMayhew. He was a strikeout victim his first time. In there, and it's 0-1. 0-1. Right strike there to LeMayhew. Quickly down 0-2 in the count. I think you got to choke up a little bit, spread out the feet. You don't know what the velocity or the location of this next pitch is going to be. Got it by a Just blown away in that at bat. Three fastballs, all strikes. He wasn't even able to foul one off. There's not much you could take away from an at bat like that as a hitter other than maybe there's something wrong with your eyes. Got to have better timing on the fastball next time. In the box again, takes a strike. Foul ball. Good eye that's on that down, spot. That's the ball. Really good take, especially with two strikes. That pitch oh. just misses the inside corner. And that's ball two. Strike three and a foul two. So two runs on three hits, including the home run. No errors and one left on. To the bottom of inning number four now. It's the Yankees five and the Twins one. Bottom four, now the cleanup go. hitter for Minnesota, Max Kepler. The pitch. That's a strike going along. Well, these twins did a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of him. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. Swing and a miss. Struck him out, and there's one away. Well, I think he was waiting on the changeup right there, and he got it. It just drifted no, too far in really on him. him. I think sure, that sure, pitch no. is just a little oh, more oh, out oh. over the plate. Probably oh, squares it up, but instead, he's going to have to go take a seat. And first offering is fouled off. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Top of the zone for a strike, and it's nothing in two.
This one in the air right field. Soto gets under it. He makes the grab. Two down. The bat. The, the first base. base. Two outs, Carlos. base is empty. And now Santana. Carlos Santana. He hit into a double play his first time up. Sliced hard but foul. The Yankees leading by four. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Off the oh. plate inside, and that's ball one. In the air, out towards left center. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Yankees five, and the Twins one. Coming out of the bullpen for the Twins, Cody Funderburg. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work ahead of them. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. Here's Juan Soto. The right field. Juan Soto. The pitch. That nope. one misses. Oh. Ball one. You know, wow. these Yankees putting together some really good at-bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. It looked to me like they really wanted to get to the starter early, get him out of the game before he settles in. So I'd say mission accomplished. 1-1 one, one now. And a foul ball. Left-hand batter waits. Just oh, misses outside. with that one. And a pitch. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Kicks and deals. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. And here it comes. Fights it off, you'll see another. At the belt and fires. And connect on the curveball, struck him out. Well, oftentimes that's the pitch he's trying to set up the curveball. He'll lean on it pretty heavily, so you got to be expecting it. Look for it and sell out so you don't miss it when you get it. Judge in the box now as he leaves that one up high. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. Sends it into the second deck. And yeah, they boost their lead. It's 6-1. The sun rises and Aaron Judge hits a home run. That's a pretty normal day in the world of baseball. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. Singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. And nope. ball one. Oh. And a pitch. Yeah. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Trying to get oh. him to chase on the change up that time. One down, base is empty. And there's a foul ball.
Pitch misses. Full count. full count now. Kicks and fires. And yeah, there's ball That's four. That's ball four. Runner, take your base. Now bad. The first Anthony base Rizzo base. steps Anthony to the play. Rizzo. Just uh -uh. missed. Oh. Good miss with that change up away. He needs a ball on the ground for a double play. Minimize the potential threat right here on the hitter side. Nice job of laying off that pitch. And that's, that's off it. Oh. the inside edge. Now 2-0. Oh. Stan, the base runner at first with one out. Next offering popped in the air. Right field. Hauls it in. Two away. Up next to the game. game. The second the base. base. Labor. Labor. Here's Glaber Torres, one for two. And that's and just foul. foul. The pitch. Rips that one center field. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Throw into third. And he throws offline. Safe at third. Now that left Alex. First and third, Verdugo. two away. Now the left fielder, Alex Verdugo. On the ground, Lewis. They take the force out. They limit the damage here. But the solo shot stretches their lead even further. And this is now a 6-1 ball game. You're dialed into the show. We head to the Lee bottom of the fifth. The and three. now for the Twins, Matt no Waller. Matt Waller. Rodon back to work. That one finds the zone, and that is strike one. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Well, these twins just aren't putting great swings on the baseball in this one. Just one extra base hit for them, so they haven't exactly been hitting the ball gap to gap or out of the park. That makes it really difficult to generate runs. The punch out there, and one out now. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, the pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Ryan Jeffers at the plate. He's already homered in this game. In there at the knees. The Yanks leading by five. Last half of inning number five. A little bit no, high. That's up. One and one. That one fouled off. The pitch. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Man, that slider bearing in on your hands like that. It's just so tough to fight now, off. It's kind of like a cutter. It just can eat you up, saw you off. I'll tell you what, hitters have nightmares about that pitch. Perfectly executed out there on the mound. Here alone. Yeah. Stands in now and watches strike one. Not sure if he could be in more of a groove. Looks really relaxed. He's retired Ball seven outside. straight. This guy's feeling it right now. Two down, nobody on. And that's another high, ball. ball. Next pitch that's is that's outside. That one hammered, but pulled foul. Two outs, bases empty.
swing and a pop up. Foul territory for the catcher. And that is that. Down go the Twins in order. They trail it 6 1. set for the top of the sixth. Here's the Yankees catcher now, Austin Wells. And a pitch. And that's off the inside edge. And that is ball one. Right through there for a strike. Lifted in the air, center field. Buxton calls it in, and there's one away. Now bad. The third base. And stepping in for the Yankees, DJ LeMahieu. Le Struck out on just three pitches last time. And first offering is fouled off. Base is empty one away, and we're at the top half of the sixth. On the ground to short. Correa slings to first, and there are two down. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. 0 for 3 with three strikeouts. Swing and a miss, and it's 0-1. It's had a tough day to play. One. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. Two outs. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. 0-2. Oh in the dirt, one and, and it's 1-2. and two. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Makes the grab, and that'll do it. Offense held in check there. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. Yankees six, and the Twins one. And welcome back to the ballpark. Well, we go bottom six, and here is Edouard Julien. As the lefty gets to work. Bunting for a hit. Rizzo. In there oh, safely. Oh. This is a big part of his skill set. And he puts himself in the situations where he can rely on his speed to impact the ball game. And this is just another example of it. And we'll see what else he can do now that he's on first. Man at first. And next for Minnesota, Royce Lewis. There's That's a ball. ball. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. The next That's pitch misses. Two balls, no strikes. Two Movement in the Yankees' pen. Tommy Canely preparing to come on if needed. Hamilton, a hard-throwing right-hander, up as well. Julian on at first. Nobody out. That one the other way. That's a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage right, count. Right, right. That pretty much split the zone Fuck down the there. middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And maybe they've got something going here, trying to get back into this one. Next to hit, Byron Buxton. And first offering is fouled off.
Rodon fires. That misses. Oh, that's high. One ball, one strike. Definitely a frustrating day for the offense, but when they look at it, this guy's had his best stuff. He's painting the corners, working on the edges, and changing speeds. Just a difficult one. You tip your cap. Two and one. And that one missing low. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Rodon sets and deals. On the ground, two ball. Torres tossed the second back to first, and that is a double play. The right field. Well, a very fast developing play right there. No margin for error. Nice double play on a fast runner up the line. Max Kepler now at the plate. And that's Ball. outside. Left-hand hitter waits. That's the ball. That's inside. That one to first. He takes That's it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Twins wind up stranding one. The lead remains five. It's 6-1. We go to the top of the seventh and stepping in for the Yankees, Juan Soto. The pitch just oh. missed. Action in the pen down there. Steven Oker warming up for manager Rocco Baldelli. Theo Bar warming up as well. And the pitch. In the air, left field. Walner on his way over. He's got it. One away. The center fielder, number 99. Here is Aaron Judge. He's already homered here in this one. First pitch is in the dirt. That's through there for a strike. That misses. That's ball. ball two. Two balls, one strike. Inside, That's inside. That's the just ball. missed. Strike two. Down is full. Ground ball up the middle. Whips it to first. Judge out on the play. Now that designated hitter, Giancarlo. Two outs, base is empty. Giancarlo Stanton. Digs in now. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. There's a swing and a drive. Walner going back on this one. Pulls it in on the warning track. Tommy Canely. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations Leading like this as well. Here's Carlos Correa. Correa. And he deals. Swinging a foul straight back. Canely, it is ninth season. He features a changeup, a four-seamer, a slider, and he works in a sinker. 
LeMahieu oh. gets it to first. And Correa retired. Up next for Minnesota. The first baseman, Carlos. And here's the first baseman, Carlos Santana. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Inside and it hit him. He had two strikes on him and he hit him. One gone runner first. Here's the left fielder, Matt Wallman. Close no, one doesn't get ball. the call. Ball one. Right-hander kicks deals. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Santana at first, one gone. Next two, offering two. is down low. Wouldn't chase down that time. Three balls, two strikes to count. Ground ball, left side. On the second, they get one. On the first, double play. And that's the inning. Starting to run out of outs as they're unable to chip away. We look ahead to inning number eight. Yankees six, and the Twins one. for New York, Anthony Rizzo. He's got a couple homers already, so can he possibly do it again? Come on, man. Of course he can. Those two he hit were legit, and he looks pretty locked in right now at the dip. Here comes a pitch. That Ball, misses. 1-0. Oh. Some movement in the Twins bullpen. Jay Jackson warming up for manager Rocco Baldelli. Left hand batter waits. Yeah. Fastball for a strike. And one and one. Flopper to right field. Way back. Gone. And he's gone yard again. That's his third home run of the game. And they add to their lead. It's 7-1. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. He's putting on quite the show at the dish here in this one. And he's just so locked in with this swing. And he's just not missing right now. A three-homer game. Man, it's so special. And I tell you what, it's a lot of fun watching him pull it off as well. On the mound now for the Twins, Caleb Fieldball. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Here is Glaber Torres. Foul ball there. One run across in the frame so far, and we're at the top of the eighth. Just Ball. off the outside edge. And the count is one and one. And that's 
Thank skips you. into there. The pitch. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Kicks and deals. Fair ball. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. Maybe a little out in front of the pitch right there, but he squared it up pretty good and he kept it inside the line. And just a really nice job on the other side by the defense to hold that to a long single. Now the left fielder, Alex Verdugo. Breaking yeah. ball through there for a strike. And now the lefty. That Hi. one finds the zone. And that is strike two. Oh, and two. That's, that's a, a little bit low. And that's awfully one close. Ball, I don't know strike. how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. On the ground to third. Nice stop. Throws from that his is. knees. There's hey. one to first. Not in time. Great effort there. Just a beautiful play right there. And again, and out. He dives to make the stop. Then a nice speed from his knees. Knew he didn't have time to get up and make that throw. The throw beats the runner. That's that internal clock working. Here's the catcher, Austin Wells. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. First ball, off, ring and it just misses. And here it comes. And ball. another ball. Right through there for a strike. Yeah. And now two and two. Two balls, two strikes. The pitch. That's down Ball's and down. in. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Ripped on a line. Dives. What a play. The throw is wild, and it gets away. Well, Boog, you can't ask for much more from your outfielder in that spot. Forced to the ground to make the catch, and nothing changes on the bases. A perfect play. DJ LeMayhew stepping in now for the Yankees. There's a strike. And a foul ball. Two outs. And That's ball, ball one to LeMayhew. I don't think he was trying one, to miss two. by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. Popped up. Julian in position. Brings it in. And that is that. Another look at the long ball for the Yankees. It's now 7-1.
Ready for the bottom of the eighth. And yeah, the batter now, Ryan Jeffers. The catch. Ryan Jeffers. Canely back to work. Smoked on the ground a second. Fires over to first. One up, one down. Now batter. The designated hitter. Alex. Kirilov. Next is the designated hitter, Alex Kirilov. Chop to the right side. Rizzo. And a couple of quick outs. The bat. The, the second baseman. Edward. Edward. Julian. So the batting order turns over. Edouard Julien, the next twin up to hit. And that is in for a strike. 0-1. Oh 0-1. Oh Two down, nobody on. And that's oh. outside. And it's one and one. And that drops in for a strike. Righty to the plate. Checks his swing. Appeal to third. And he won around. Not an easy call there, but that puts an end to the inning. This one pretty well decided at this point. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Yankees seven. And the Twins won. Coming out of the bullpen for the Twins, Jay Jackson. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Back to the top of the lineup, Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. The wind and the pitch. Popped up. Julian under it. Makes the grab. One down. Really nice job to get your first out of the ball game. Up next to the Yankees. Yankees. The right the fielder. fielder. And now Juan. the right fielder, Juan Soto. Soto. And that one fouled off. Base is empty, one away here at the top of the ninth. game some things in this sport are contagious boog and right now for this team clearly it's the long ball no matter how this outing ends that pitch is going to haunt him for a while an 0-2 mistake that's supposed to be a pitch out of the zone he left it in a spot that the hitter could do some damage with and that's exactly what he did Aaron Judge at the plate. Swing and a miss. Slider right there. Your ball's one strike. In there at the knees. Two really good back-to-back -back sliders. Now in an 0-2 count. He's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. Good eye right there. That one laced the center and a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single.
Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Now just a cookie it. down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you John dream Carlo. about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. Oh, yeah. That's in there. Strike one. Swings through that one out in front that time. No ball. Sometimes being lucky is a swing and miss. If he makes contact with that pitch, probably hits into a double play. And the righty deals. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Judge stands at first with one out. Just oh. misses. Now one and two. Really good slider. He's up there just hoping that it ends up off the plate away. And oh. another ball. Two, two. Next you offering is downstairs. Yeah, the right-hander deals. Stays alive. Here comes a 3-2. On the ground the first. Into the outfield. Base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Stringing them together. That's three hits in a row. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get ripped. Now, this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. And that one's off the wall. Runner from second crosses the play. It's 9-1. And he's got a double, his fourth hit. Comes through with the RBI. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. Yeah, Torres, batting with one down, takes a strike. Good nope, take by it. Torres. Second and third here. One away. In the air. Fairly deep to right field. Drops into the glove. Runner tags from third. The tag safe. And they now lead by nine. In that situation, you're looking to get something up in the zone that you can put in the air. Worst case scenario, a sacrifice fly to drive in that runner from third. And up next for New York, Alex Verdugo. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. Two outs with a runner at third. That clips the corner. In the air on the infield. Settles under this one. Brings it in for the third out. So they get three runs on four hits. One was the solo homer. Two, three, four. Set to hit in the bottom of the And we're back. We head to the bottom of the ninth. And now for the Twins, Royce Lewis. And a pitch. Just that missed. missed. That's the ball. Good fastball there. I think it was a purpose pitch. Just want to make that hitter's feet uncomfortable. And nope. that location oh. will definitely do it. Good. Late on that fastball. Well, he came right out right there, strike. challenged him with the 2 0 fastball. Not sure exactly what he was looking for, but got to imagine that's a confidence that's booster on the mound. You're in that hitter's head a little bit. Swing and a miss. Three and two now. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. And that's ball four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Buxton no ball. in the box strike. now. No balls and a strike. 
Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up that's for two. Ball. And that's outside. Yeah, the count one and two. Strikes and one gone. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They try to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Kepler oh. in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Wouldn't That's chase that time. The Twins with a lot of ground to make up here in the last half of inning number nine. Swings and misses. Two and two. Two and two. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Now only one out remaining. So up next for Minnesota, Carlos Correa. One for three. First pitch misses. Ground ball, and this should do it. And that'll do it. Sure, if he expected to get nine outs in this one, but he had the gas in the tank to get it done. Kind of a throwback save for this guy today, but 